Greetings and welcome back to Minecraft Banana Biking Server. So, uh, in the episode, we went down there. I've, I've stayed in now, by the way. We did a whole bunch of stuff. We had a live stream in the meantime as well, where we did some mining. There's a lot more mines down there now. I've, I've done a few extra mining sessions. We also have 60 iron now. We have 12 diamonds. So, we're getting closer to be able to make that suit of armor. I don't know how much armor we would need, actually. How much would we need to make a. I have a craft bench up here. Apparently not. Do you have any wood up here? I do. Any logs? Planks, planks. One, two, three, four. I feel it's probably a good idea to have a crafting bench up here. Boop. Thank you. Uh, there. Just to go level it off. Uh, let's see. Armor makes. Armor, 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 armor. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. We need 17 in total. We have 12. We are not far away from being able to do it. Ignore that guy, he's annoying. In the meantime, we also went on a treasure hunting run. Now, unfortunately, that episode, I haven't put it out because none of my Discord audio worked, <clears throat> which means you can hear me talking, you can see me, what I'm doing, but you can't hear the raft of the conversations I was having with people. But in that run, we did, in fact, go out there and get ourselves some iron horse armor, courtesy of Gekwin, who had a load of spare, uh, some spider eyes, some suspicious stews which I've never seen before, and I think we'll try one today. I don't know what they do. We got some um, white glazed terracotta, we got a night vision potion, a couple of books, we got forms there, and infinity there. We also picked up two hats to see. I do not know what to do with those yet. So I need to, if you know what to do, let me know an idea about, about what to do with them. Um, some pismine crystals, we picked up an iron sword, a curse of vanishing leather tunic, okay. Uh, some iron nuggets, 20 iron nuggets, and a totem of undying. <clears throat> so when we get some good stuff, we'll, we'll take that with us. Might take that to the end so we don't, you know, lose all our gear. Um, but yeah, that's what we picked up. We picked up some rails in the first mining episode. So yeah, we got some good stuff now here. But today, we need to progress on actually doing stuff outside. Now, the annoying guy outside, in case you're wondering, uh, it's a trader who wandered in earlier. There he is. Yeah. Hi. Where's your... Uh... There he is. I don't think a lead snapped. I might have to try and make a lead. Hi, Traderman. Uh, yeah, this ah. guy does sell packed ice, which is really good for us. Um, but everything else is a bit, yeah. Don't really need anything else on that list. Um, ah. Your lead appears to have broken. On both of your llamas, actually. Ooh. How, what would it cost ah. me to make a lead? Um, a lead. A st uh, slime ball. I don't I haven't found any slimes at all yet. That's a shame. I would like to grab your, uh, your your alpacas and bring them down into the base for permanent, uh, well, animals. We'd be we like them. Ooh. We have a nice harvest of our uh, sugar cane. Let's bring that in. Perfect. Almost all of it grabbed in my inventory. Just that one, oh, two little bits. Made it into the water stream. There we go. All right, so we are collecting bits of sugarcane now. So today what I want to do is I want to build out this... Uh, ooh, and harvest as well. Well, we've done all the harvesting today, haven't we? Well, might as well get it in. I see one that hasn't been done, but I'm not going to bother skipping the one. All right. See, I see you. I just don't care. All right, let's drop those in the storage. There we go. We need to get that room up and running for storage in there very, very shortly. Okay, please don't break the soil. I hate it when you break the soil. You get the, the hole out. And it, uh... All right, so before we go and do anything else, let's have this uh, suspicious... Actually, let's wait till our uh, hunger bag goes down a little bit. Today's plan, though, is to finish off the first deck of the building, which is this floor here, um, and get some storage chests in there so we can start moving the storage up and get a room built up there. Mm, not sure how we're going to do that yet for the bed. But today's focus is going to be on this floor here. Now, I think I need to make some stairs, some fences. There we go. Boop, boop. And I'm going to need oak planks and a lot of them. So what I've, I've been looking at around different ways of doing it, and if I just go make some planks first. Why is the door shut? I never shut the door. 
I'm never sure dogs think you have to run in there really, really quickly. Boop. Alright, so. The plans so far are to either pop fences there and there, like that. Or pop down a block over here, like that, and then put the fences like this around it. Okay. Uh, boop, boop. This is not going to where they're going to go. I'll just to show you off from the ground. So that's how they look now. From this point of view, this looks nicer because you can see they connect into the edge here. They float away. And even from down below, boop, 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 boop. The, those ones do seem to connect better and they just float. Now, from Bumble, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But also from down here, you have this little block which denotes an edge. So I kind of like the elevate, elevated edge. That's what we're going to so we're, we're do. We're going to go with the elevated edge. Now we're going to go remove those uh, annoying things now. Uh, these ones to remove these ones. Let's remove them, and we can place everything where it's supposed to be. Damn you two down there! Okay, well those two don't want to be picked up. I only put two, didn't I? I did. But let's go grab those. That was the wrong button to press, but sure. I was sure one of them hit the land here. Alright. So we have that uh, edge. So we're going to do the edge. Now the question is, do we pull back all the slabs by one and then replace them with blocks or do we just block the another line out? Now we are over the edge here. Would it be end of the world if we overlap by one more? Probably not, but I don't like it. What would happen if we were to pull back this edge here by one square and then keep this edge out by one more? Would that be... I can live with that. This one he's gonna have to go though. Fine, you do that. Just because you can be there then. And then then we can pull out from here. Uh Yes, okay, so that one goes we don't need to be removed actually. Uh there, there. Then you yeah, you need to remove the few of these corner ones, just the stepping would look really uh blocky because of it. But now we can do it. There we go. And then these ones here do need to be removed because they're right on the edge where I want them to be. So remove, 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 remove. Damn you. All right. So blocky there, there, there. Now where's the land go out? The land starts to go out about here. So one more block there. Then you actually step out one, because you go and we'll keep it above the wall, the land at all times now, if we can. There, there, and then out one more. And I'm just gonna do this one more here. There we go. So that's our uh, where our edge will be. We're gonna keep the edge above the water all the way around if we can, just to match the water edge. Unless we get to a weird piece like that, where we might do something else with it. Maybe we shift the water. We don't know yet. All right, fences. So I don't want to put anything there yet, because that's gonna be a wall of some kind for the doorway. Uh, so we put the fences there. I want to make sure the fences go all the way around the edge, like this, so you don't fall off and die. Is the plan? Uh, can I make, can I reach that? I can't reach it. Oh, and it's a spawnable area as well. Ah. So a fence on them, and then it'll make it so they can't be uh, spawned on, and I don't have to worry about them. Boop, 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 boop. Right, let's go take a look at how that looks from down there. And if it looks as good as it does up here, because I kind of like it, it gives a little balcony to look out on. Let's have a nosy at what it looks like down there. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. It looks good. All right, the one above it though, the sun's going down, got a few minutes yet. So with the, the floor above, I want it to be, I just kind of like where it is now. We just make the room smaller. That'll, make, that'll be the edge. So we should put big planks on the end of these then. Um, let's start it there. Like that. 
Oop, let's go get this. Actually, I don't want mobs coming at me. So let's go in and get inside. <coughs> Boop. And give yourself some more daylight. It's partly because I don't want mobs, because mobs are a pain in the ass to deal with, but also because working at night means bad uh, quality video. Because I haven't got the area sufficiently uh, yet. We need to actually do something about that, actually. A whole perimeter around the base that's lit up and nothing can spawn inside of it, so we don't have to worry about sleeping when we're working. Because uh, it'll be well lit. Alright. Why people these slabs over here? We just a couple. Yep. And that one there. Right, I'm gonna need more slabs for the upstairs now as well. So let's grab the slabs while we're down here. Uh, 49 is not enough to do the whole thing, but it's enough to get us started. Oh, this area's done. I'm doing I'm doing this bit up here, wasn't I? Alright. Uh yes, you go there, 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 out one, there. Hmm. Actually, I'd like you to not go any further there. We'll just put that there. There we go. Right, quick check of the ground. All good. All is good. All right, and on the inside, you can see this little border as well, which actually kind of is kind of good because it makes it look nice. And also, we can build walls against that by putting something back here, and nobody will really notice it. All right, well, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. It does actually have a bit more of a enclosed feel. You come out to the balcony, you can see up to the sky. Cool. All right, let's go check the upper level for the same thing. I have enough fences for that, so let's go up. I need to get proper stairs in place here as well. All right, again, this area is going to be blocked off with a bit of building, so this is where the fences will start. Uh, not sure what we'll do here for the first room. I think the first room might have to start back there. Have a bigger open area for the bedroom. So let's start with the fences here then. Hmm, that one's gonna be a problem. In fact, that one's gonna be such a big problem. Let's pull you forward a little bit earlier. Uh, so we need to remove that one. That one. Thank you. Uh, that one. Good. And probably that one as well. Okay, so we take you forward a little bit earlier to there by one. That would give us a small gap to squeeze through here. I mean, we could run across there and into that and keep it to these pillars, but uh, not feeling that as a design. I think we should be able to walk in front of those pillars. In fact, because of that, let's pull you forward one, no, two more, two earlier, two earlier. Uh, are you? You're not, but you are. So you need to be removed. You need to be removed, and you also need to be removed and be placed with flags. Flags, slabs. Uh, slab, please. Ah, no. Combine the list on top of it. Minecraft is simple enough. Do not mind the thing you stood on. Okay. Uh, deal with you in a minute. Okay. So put you there. So you come out one, and then here. So you're pretty much above the floor there, but then we'll just run across to that. There we go. And you need to be a slide. But there we go. All right. Put you there, 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 there. We can always see. Oh, yeah. So I don't want. To, I want to obscure the ground below. I do want to have. I do indeed want to be able to go around this. Not by much. I don't really need to be out too far, but I do want to go around it. So let's out it from there. So you can be a slab. You can be a slab. You can be a slab, and you be a slab. Uh, slab it there, 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 and there. I mean, to be fair, I don't need to put these blocks down. It just—I think it looks nice having the trim on the, on the underneath. But, I mean, like I don't need to do this, but I feel it does, that trim does look kind of nice. And for now, I'll block it off there until we get a edge piece. But I do like it having it out. All right, let's have a quick note here down there and see what it looks like from below. Now it's got the full trim. Ow! Yeah, actually, I actually kind of like the trim down here. When you walk out this balcony, you do have that little bit extra. It does. Get a bit too close here. Hmm. 
It is a bit too close here. I do like this balcony being out. Let's take a look from down the ground and see what it looks like down there. Ooh, hang on a minute. All green, good. Okay. Um, that's going to set back a bit more in the on the curve around there, I think. But from here, from the main house, I think it's not too bad, actually, being just a few blocks back. Hmm. The real question is, do we pull that roof back two squares, or do we push this out forward two squares so it overhangs the water entirely rather than being level with the edge of the water? Let me know what you think about that design, what we should do there. Should we should we push out the ground floor a bit further forward by, say, two blocks out? Or pull that, that roof in there back two blocks? But either way, that's the starting point there. Uh, this will be a bedroom, so on this one we'll start a wall back here and this will be all outside, a little upstairs area that you can do stuff outside, be bit of crafting, bits of stuff like that there. But uh, the downstairs one's going to be the uh, storage. Mm. Thank you, Kay. There we go. Alrighty, bit of lag there for no reason whatsoever. Right, okay. So don't need more, 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 more stairs up here. Uh, for now, however, I will stair this piece because I'm going to make sure we don't fall off it while we're doing stuff. And I'm not planning on building out there just yet. So this will just be a me not falling off the building and also, you know, it'll just be nice having a dead end there until we build out that way. I'm not doing that piece there because we will be building out that way very shortly. I'm going to do the same down here as well. On the same edge piece. Uh, I'll leave that piece open just as a reminder this is not the final edge. There we go. Why are we missing a piece there, by the way? There we go. Alright, so this will be our storage area starting at this point here. Now I need to put, figure out what kind of wall I want to put in here. I haven't figured it out yet, but we will figure it out as soon as possible. But back here, we do know what we need. We need. Getting dark for some reason. We need a. Do you have any on me? I didn't bring any on me. Uh, we need to go and grab some uh, birch so the back wall is lighter than the rest of it. Birch. Boop, boop, boop. Um, you know what? I'm going to make a crafting bench up here as well because I just can't be bothered to constantly go down there for one. Put up it in there for now. Give me a crafting bench, please. There we go. Right. I don't need, don't technically need the crafting bench, but crafting bench it is. All right, birch planks going across here should create as a walling, but I don't want to be stand out like that, so I'm going to step it back a little bit by dropping down some of these just back here. This will give us a walkway to build on. That's good. That gives a little bit of where to a little bit of there. Yes, that gives a little bit of place to build on. So we drop down the birch planks here. There we go. All right, and then this side as well. So that's gonna be a doorway there. So this might be too plain for now, but it'll be a starting point. There we go. There'll be a door right there. And we do the same all the way down here. Once you go through this door, there'll be a storage room that way. That's kind of my plan. I'm going to drop a torch there just because I don't trust this not to spawn something. But birch there, 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 whoop, there, there, and there. And this side, it'll be there, 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 whoop, there, there, and there, and there. So that's roughly how it look right now. Now it is too plain. I can see that straight away. It's too plain. I'll do something about this design here later on. But 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 this will go in here. There'll be storage galore back there. And also from down here, I'm hoping when you look up this room, you'll see you'll be able to see them too much. That's the plan. And here, I don't know what I'll do here. Probably just temporary work storage. But back there's gonna be a big storage room. All right. Uh, let's see. I got plank. I got slabs on me. Now, I don't want to make these two pillars too close together. These are just the vertical ones designed for the storage area. Um, but I've, I'm going to widen them out further later on, I think. But anyway, 
let's get out there, pop down some more of these slabs. So, give me a couple of spaces out, should do me nicely. Three, for now, we go four. And we can get the storage area in this area done. Right, okay, so let's build you back. Yeah, can't go any further than that, and then you come this way. Perfect. And this will be our floor of our first piece of storage, and I'm out of flag the slabs. So let's go sleep, and we'll come back and get ourselves a brand new set of uh, slabs, and we can uh, finish off that little bit of building. And we also need to get a bed up there at some point, because I don't like it being here. I don't want it in the mine shaft, I want it in the uh, in the house where we're building. Alrighty. But, uh, I mean, that needs to be changed. I don't know what I'm going to do for the inner wall. Is it a piece? But we'll, we'll have to separate it out a little bit. I've got some ideas, but uh, I don't want to do them just yet. Give me oak floor. Well, we already have oak. Never mind. I already have the oak. I just need to just go and place it. Do, 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 do. Slap me. That's a pressure plate. Slap me. Alrighty. Now this side should be. Ooh, I was I was expecting to be spawnable out here. I was wrong button. I was expecting to be spawnable out here. All right. Uh, so we're gonna there. It's gonna be chests back here. There. Going back now. That's why I want to sort of move these. Uh, where you walk through here, I don't want to be chest immediately. I want to be set back one, but these don't allow for it because it's not a big enough gap. So there's different ways of dealing with that. <clears throat> different ways. This side's easy. You just go back one. This side you can't go back one because the the chair a chest spot. Hmm. I have to rethink this. Maybe they go side on. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. They can go side on there. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. We should go make some chests and test design out. We should make some chests and test the design. Uh, let's test the design with um, spruce because we have a lot of spruce. And we don't use it for much right now, so that's good. Spruce me. Make me a bunch of chests. Boom. Thank you. All right, so if we would start the chest room, back one from the door, because I really would like it to be one from the door, so you can walk in there, it's a bit more impressive. I would like to have it side on, but as you can see here, this one would work, actually, but these inner ones wouldn't. So how about we do chest, chest, like that. It'll go up three, actually, so like that. And then this side, we go, no... So we have a little bit of a design difference between the two. There. Are you going to join? Try it again. There we go. There, there. There. Ooh, I'm missing one. And one shot for my test purpose. Ah, go away. Build me the things. Give me a stack of chests. Better, 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 better. Do it to be awkward, right? Now, how would this look as a design? Because this is a chest room, so. Uh, I want double chests everywhere. I'm going to run out of chests again. Hey, look at that. I have right access to my. Uh, the right access to there. Make me chests, make me more chests. Let's just do a full stack of them with the uh, spruce. This is, after all, going to be potentially the part of the storage room, so let's do it properly, shall we? You know, there are times when I hate you sometimes, chests. That turns out to be most of the time. Uh, let's go three deep. Because we can, 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 can. See, that's a problem. There we go. 
three deep that way, which means you would go just two deep actually. I keep forgetting you can't crouch anymore, the new mechanic, you have to put it on the side of the thing, or not crouched. So when you walk in here, you would see these side on chests and these big chests. I'm not too actually against it. They'll go back there about maybe five deep and then there'll be another pillar and uh, like these separating them out. And then the other side would be the same. But here we can go that way on. And that way it can be long ways. <clears throat> and no one would actually, it wouldn't matter. Hmm. Okay, we'll probably need more to do this test with, but uh, one there, one there, one there. And we need to do one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> so I need nine to finish that off, that piece off. I won't do it there just yet. And then we need another six there. Okay, let's go down, grab some more spruce. I need to plant some big trees and harvest them uh, off camera at some point. <laughs> Spruce me. That's nine, and we do need to do ones for the other side, so I'm just going to do those as well. There we go. All right, so for this side, if we. Damn it. One, two, three. Perfect. I can just do that. Like that. I don't think we need many more chests in our chest room, to tell you the truth. You know that thing where you build something and it just wants to infuriate you constantly? Yeah, that. <laughs> um, you, make more of those. I think we're done for chests for a while, actually. Oop, right. You're done. You just need that one, that one, that one, and then that one. Okay, you went down to the floor. That's fine by me. You go down to the floor if you wish. So you walk in and it's like that. And you walk into this one. Ah. It's like that. It's the same design on both sides. Big side chest on that way and that way. Perfect. I actually kind of like it. Now I might need to widen this out, actually. Make something else there. I don't know. Material. Maybe glass. I don't know. But that's our storage now. And temporarily, we have access to it this way. It's temporary because they're going to take that top of the mountain off entirely and have the building go into there. Perfect. All right. Um, storage area is done. Up here, we will have a bedroom. So we're going to need the slabs for that. Right, I want to make sure we don't go too far above that one, we'll cover the chest entirely one by one. Yeah, by one's fine. And then we can, the way the chest area will be uh, covered. Don't we get the chest getting wet and rain, do we? Uh, yeah, that will cover that. Perfect, actually. All right, uh, we'll fill the gap in there, but let's make sure the berry down there is not spawnable in any way, shape, and or form. It is not. Good. Uh, we have now built over that, though. Good. Uh, get rid of them. They do tank the frame rate a little bit too much. How much higher is that roof? As much as I'd like it to be a little bit higher, I'm actually happy with it current height because it does mean I can keep this floor for the bedroom the same height. Although I could hire it a little bit more, make it so that it, once you have this open air balcony here, you step up a couple of levels and you go in, but I don't feel too needy for that. Mm, however, I do feel that needs to be uh, blocks for this to be uh, better ceiling there. Do we block that? 
But it's gonna be a, there'll be a, there, there'll be a thing there. Yes, we'll block that. Uh, there, 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 and there. There we go. That should block off all of that. This needs to be slabbed so the chest can open anyway. So there's no debates about that piece. I hate you so much. I like to try to move the cap, move the mouse while having the uh, the thing open. But no, you want to be awkward about it. I'm glad I'm using half slabs though because I can just take the top off. Uh, more half slabs? I do have more half slabs. Thank you. This area will be spawnable. There's no light up here. No light sources up here, should I say. So, drop this down, check the light levels, and then uh, we should be... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Right, for now, we'll just drop one there and drop one there. That will solve this area until we get some wall pieces up. But this upper area now, this will be a little balcony you come into. This won't be an entrance, I don't think. We're probably in the entrance over there, which will actually get rid of this horrible staircase design that we've got over there. But anyway, that's the start. We need to put a wall on that, but I won't know where the wall's going to be fully until... Uh... Ow. Until we do it. I need to work, work with this as well. This needs to be changed. And then you walk into your little storage room, you can walk around here, you better walk back up this way and out this one again. So it's not going to be a, a solid corridor, there will be like different ways in, different ways out. Alrighty, let's see what we have left to do on this piece. Uh, I feel we're going to sleep again because it's getting dark. Didn't go to the door this time around, I'm a rebel. <laughs> oh, Alright, so... So, actually, it's looking nice already, having it bulked out a little bit. Let's take it from the dock side so we can see what it looks like as an entry point. Da, 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 da. One of the big things with this is actually... Okay, it's anime. Oh, yeah, you can see the back wall just sort of coming to, into focus as well. Nice. Okay. It just does need some kind of dividing wall just there at uh, the front, but I haven't decided what the material to use for that yet. Uh, I might even pull those um, spruce beams and back to the lineup with that one so we can put uh, a straight wall there I'll, I'll work that out later but yeah that was, I think those are pretty good um, with those fences definitely uh, up here we have our thing uh, here I will put do I have this? I do here I'm going to put these up so crafting bench I'm going to need you out there so you guys actually just put a torch in there Oh, there is a torch in there already. Good. Never mind then. Here I'm going to put these. Like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah. That'll do nicely. And I have two doors down here, I believe. It was this chest. Chest, 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 chest. Need a door, 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 door. Perfect. Now, if I get this right, that's wrong. If you get this right, put them on the outside block, like that. I hate you so much. So much. They open outwards, which looks kind of cool. Rather than always, like most people build them so they open flat into these pieces, but these open outwards now, which I like. And when they close, they have a slight ridge on the inside as well. So when you walk up, do, 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 you can see they have the little ridge, they stand out a bit. And when you open it up, they open outwards, which I think actually for this particular part of the building, for the storage, it looks kind of cool. I may take them off and reverse them if the uh, if it becomes awkward for the storage, because they will be getting in the way coming up this stairway. But I won't know that I've done. I need some doors for those, but I'm not even sure I'll put doors on those, uh, because they are just storage entryway. If I might get rid of this archway entirely and leave it more open. But I'm thinking the idea that it will come from the weather can get in, so. Mm, don't know yet. All right. This needs walling off down the sides, but it's not a high priority. But by that, I mean we'll do it now. Just slab this. We can put a wall behind that if we need it. And this side, we'll make sure this can be protected. Good job, zombies can't jump, right? Did I miss a chest out there. I did miss a chest out there, didn't I? Ooh. 
All right. Yeah, I have uh, another set of chests there. Luckily, I'm, I'm carrying them. Ah, how, you, how convenient. And just enough to do it as well. How extra convenient. All right, we need to start moving some of the storage up here then. Yeah, this needs to go. I'll figure something out here. I'll figure something out there. Let's make another uh, axe, please. Uh, which one do you have cobble in it? You do. And you should have this. You do. Two, please. Oh, I should have a crafting bench on me now. Excellent. Pocket crafting bench. For now, let's drop you... There. Let's go to the place with any. Give me an axe. And there. Let's remove that piece there. That, hopefully, will make this a bit more open from a storage point of view. So you walk in, you've got this little piece there. I can't do anything about that because the floor above is a slab. And I can't put slabs on the type on the bottom of a slab for the same type. Fat as I'm aware. Um, but it does create a divide, doesn't it? This is definitely too enclosed. I might put some glass panes or glass slabs or something there. Just to uh, create an impression of a gap. A gap. I don't want the thing to be wood. I don't want to be too much wood in this place. It's going to be very, very wood based given the... The jungle and the forest and the water. I want it to be very woodish, but I don't want it to be too woodish. Woodish? Woodish. Alright, well, if we're gonna be if we're gonna be doing that, let's uh, see if it's time to start moving to an actual proper staircase now then, alright? Okay, so We've got to here, get this floor here, and then we get up to that level there. Now it might be this is going to be yeah, it's going to be a little bit too much, um, too steep. But let's find out. Where's my stair? I only have one stair. Why do I only have one stair? Um, I don't want it to be too steep, you see. So yeah, we need we need to go flats and stairs, flats and stairs. So do I have? I do not have any. So let's let's make a few. Give me some stairs, my friends, my friends, my stairs. One, two, three, four should be enough, hopefully. All right, so we get here. Boop, you go away. Uh, you can go there for now. All right, to get to here, we want to elevate it up. So I will start with a slab. Yeah, let's start with a slab. Right there. Up you go. Hmm. Yes, slab right there. I was thinking about putting it there by the door, so the wall, door goes against it, and it breaks up a little bit early, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's not. Let's leave it like that. All right, then we want a block back there. This is going to be entirely unusable space, so we'll leave it uncapped for now. But we're going to put a slab line there, so I can build on top of that, and then we'll put a staircase. Staircase. Uh, there. Or we won't. That's also an option. We, we could just not do that just yet. We could inst instead go with another slab. That'd do, that would work really well, wouldn't it? A slab, yes. Then we can go put a block there. Of course, slabs. It'll actually have the outside get that tiering system as well then. Slab, that would have stairs on it. Like that, which will take us up faster. Then we have to go to a slab line. Uh, we'll go flat there for a second. Then we go for slab height. There we go. That'll give us that little less than uh, two height go. And then here we need to put a slab there. Then we can do more stairs. This will be a little bit steeper than... Or we could not do stairs. Yeah, you know what? I don't feel stairs here either. I feel we should do a slab line, right? Anybody else feel more slabs? Slabs sound like a good idea. <clears throat> uh, we haven't got any slabs. So let's make some. Boop. Boop. I made way too many. But we don't have a, it's not like we have a limited supply of wood, is it? Slab, slab, slab. And then we're here. And then here we can go... Slab, slab, slab. Staircase. 
And then we're at the actual slab height now. So we can go slab, 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 slab. So the door will be there on the top. So we do the same sort of side landing as this. So when you get to the top, it's a four wide landing. So one, two, three, four. And that landing there will connect to that building there. And we'll have a doorway here into the bedroom, around and onto the balcony. Yes, that looks kind of cool. Uh, this will be up against, but not necessarily directly connected to. So we don't want it to be connected until it reaches here. All right, so let's get you mapped out. No idea what happened there, but sure, we'll, we'll accept that, right? Oop, this is perfect alignment, good. Perfect alignment. Can I get up here without... Okay. Temporarily, we have a decent way up. <laughs> the hill is going to be useful for construction and the pain in the ass to remove when it gets to removing. I don't have a spade yet. I know, right? This, this far into a, a, a mini series, and uh, we don't even have a spade. Like, so much. So much slabs, so much. Uh, we are going to run out of slabs. Oh, I got 40 more. Is that going to be enough? Hmm, borderline. Borderline. Oh, look at that. Exactly the right number of slabs on me. Oh. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, look at that. We are entirely non uh, thingies spawnable. Storage area is looking pretty decent. Upper floor is now in a position to uh, be able to put a wall around that and put a bed up there at some point. Yes, we're getting really close to that now. Back to one more bed run. I'm going to make sure to complete the uh, the walling off process very, very shortly. What do you think? It needs to be night to sleep. I've just slept. Yeah, I kind of like that. We do need to put some more slabs on the underside of these blocks just to uh, ease the transition, but I feel like it's doable. It works fine. Put lights and torches on the back of them maybe instead. But you can see how the uh, we're gonna have to put some poplars somewhere around here going up, so we can uh, make it look like the building actually is supported. Now I don't want to be able to do that. I don't want to be able to do that at all. So I might pull this bit of the wall back once we get some construction up and running. But I don't want the building to go too far into the mountain and just be complete flat behind it. I want it to look like the building actually goes into the hill. So what we probably end up doing is putting a wall up here. Um, just to separate those two out a bit and to make it look like the building just sort of goes into it and then have no doors or all like that onto the hill for this side, but doors will be over this side somewhere. All right. Um, Shrieking's coming on right nicely though. But there we go, we have storage. And I think we, we can put signs up here saying what type of storage we're going to have. You know, um, like building materials on this side, maybe um, food. You get the idea that we're going across. I wasn't doing an automated storage, storage system, but for now I feel that this is just going to be a nice little manual storage. All right, but I'm not going to do with the storage sorting on the on camera. We'll do that off camera because, oh my god, that would be so mind numbing. I almost bought off that. That was literally looking at the water. I like the water. It's pretty. All right. Um, storage is done. That's done. That's done. Ooh, we need you to be uh, covered. Where's my crafting bench? There it is. Do I have any more of these? I do have some more of these. Just to fill that void up there. Now here I don't know what to do. It's going to be something, but I don't want to do there just yet. Across there, I think I'm seriously thinking about bringing this pillar back uh, to be where the crafting bench is. So it lines up a straight line there. <clears throat> and then put another pillar here. So we have the gap there. And then we can run a wall there. This balcony will be quite narrow, but it will be a balcony. This will probably be a glass wall as well, just so we can see through it and be nice, and pretty. 
Oh, I'm actually thinking maybe doing slabs of um, polished stone or quartz. Make it look like, um, like, the, like the blinds are down. Hmm. That could look nice. Let's give that a try. Because um, polished stone and quartz are very bright colored white and light gray. What would that look like? That could actually look quite nice and add a little separation rather than using glass. Hmm. That could be nice. Okay, we'll give that a, definitely give that a think about. Um, second floor, second floor, second floor. <clears throat> Comes up to here, same as yours. Then when you appear, this is going to be. I don't want to have this tiny balcony. I want it to be a bigger balcony. So the wall itself for the bedroom is going to be across here. Um, this part is going to be an entry point to the bedroom. So you walk through the door, boom, bedroom. Be a bed, there'll be windows looking out. If there's going to be any viewpoint, there should be a viewpoint, I'm probably here actually. Looking over this part of them. Ooh, lag, 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 lag. There we go. Alright, so yeah, looking out over that point. The server's having a real issue holding on to me right now. But there we go. So that will give us that viewpoint. Um, I might put a window here so we can see out into the stairway looking down. Not sure on that. Uh, up here, this once you're on this elevated outside piece, you'll be able to walk around the rim. And what I want to do is, uh, somewhere over this side, I want to put farms on this elevated piece. <clears throat> so this elevated piece, on the, oh, maybe that way? I feel that side would be better for it. But we'll have an elevated section with a farm on it, and the water trickling down. So it'll trickle across here. Uh, basically, give me them. What will start here with a farm? The water will run across here and pour over the edge. When it pours over the edge, it'll land down there, you know, down there. Hit that thing, run backwards that way, and continue forwards. Where it'll pour into the water, but it'll trickle back and move two floors of farms, is what we're going to have. That's kind of the plan behind it, anyway. Ow, I was hoping that wasn't be too deep. So the plan is when you look, when you look back up there, you wouldn't see on those ones. You still see the fences, but what you'd see is water pouring down from one floor to the other as well. So little waterfalls coming down, and then that water would eventually pour into the lake itself. And that would be I mean, that would be kind of nice. I think that would be kind of nice. All right, let's see what's our material like right now. We have loads of birch, which we're just not using right now. We have these little columns of birch. And that's all we have. Um. I think I would put them there, but that might make that a bit too much birchy. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with the birch, actually. I'm liking it as a tone. It does add a nice tone. I don't feel like putting it across the floor here, though. Um, although it would create that. No, 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 maybe no. All right, so the back wall here. Well, the back wall's going to be birch, right? So this is going to be probably birch all the way across here. Now we cross there with windows in it so we can see into the storage area. Or we see out the storage area more accurately. So actually, you know what, let's do it. Let's put the birch down. Um, birch. Birch, 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 birch. Because this is for now all it's going to be sidewise on the storage. I want to be able to walk around the back of these so we get to the other one. But it's not a requirement. We'd get too close to that hill, wouldn't we? You know what? Yes, we would. But if we're going to put the wall up, it's not an issue, right? Um, I would want to use oak planks, but I don't have many oak planks on me. Hmm. I don't use oak planks that touch the ground here. I need to make them more. Let's go make some more before we do that. <clears throat> then we are good on the on the planking, right? All right. And then what we'll do is on the outside of this at some point. Is we'll uh, I've put some populars down there as well. So birch, birch, oak floor. No, at least I knew it as a press the button for it. I had the wrong one selected. Da, 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 da. All right, and this thing needs to be immediately here cut off so it doesn't cause any problems. So, birch planks. It's gonna try and kill me, isn't it? This base, birch planks go here. 
Uh, I wish it would like to be one deeper. Let's go one deeper. That'll do. Which means those don't need to be planks, they could be slabs. But you know what, they're the end of the building, I'm happy with those, and one of these will be a support pillar at some point in here. So I'm sure they get dug up at some point quite soon. Alright, let's birch this area, shall we? I might make... Yeah, that one there is probably going to be the uh, brown support pillar, so birch that. Okay, good. Uh, run this down here, and you're going to be... Oh, good, you're not there, so we can put you there. Perfect. Right, run you down here. quite as many as I wanted to do, but sure. I haven't put the windows in, spacing it at all yet, so. Alright, uh, torches on the wall. Uh, on the centerpiece would be better. Just a red one then. Same goes here, one right there. Nothing can still spawn inside, how about the outside? I don't want any, any spawnable areas. Like that. Perfect. Okay, so the outside looks like this now. It hasn't got a window in there yet, but they will have some. In fact, we should go make some glass. Do we even have sand? I don't think I have any sand. Let's have a nosy. Do I have sand? Sand, sand. Uh, no sand. We still haven't got any hunger bars down yet. Right, take the chests over here for sand and then we'll uh, go and get ourselves some sand if we need to. I'm going to want about, I don't want to say 10 windows. Ha! Sand! Right, you take the sand and I will find you a block of coal. Chackle! Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. We'll actually just, get the, just make a lot of it. Give me that, all, that, all that charcoal. Boop, there we go. Where's the sun? It's getting dark and I haven't, I haven't been away for long. Really? Night time already? It's starting to get tedious, to say the truth. But, uh, okay, that's wrong floor. That's our storage room, and I do need to put glass. I want to put uh, probably two high, two across, at least one, at least a three wide water window. I'm not sure we're going to have to the ground level like though. Uh, don't know about that yet. Pop me out. All right, let's go and check on our place for windows. So you need the outside of the world to look nice as well as the inside of the building. Now that's not the finished structure yet, but it will give me a starting point, right? Uh, give me those, and then we should be able to make panes, because panes look much nicer. There we go. All righty. Let's head up. It might be good to have some dyed glass at some point, but for now we'll just go with this and see what it looks like. Uh, remove that one, that one, and that one. Uh, ooh, pain, 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 pain. There, there, and there. It looks okay. Feed should go one higher. But let's do you as well. Torch can go above the window. How does that look? Actually, it doesn't look too bad at all. We put a window this side because it'll be underneath the uh, underneath that. So, do I have many of these left? I have loads of these left. Good. If I build back here, then <coughs> um, leave that torch there. I don't have to build in that spot, then, do I? 
Damn it. There. This will just be a big solid wall because of the storage chests. There's literally no reason to build anything behind that right now. And then here, if we build that across there and across there, we can put windows here as well. We can see out. Yeah, I do think the um, stained glass doesn't have that line down the middle. So I think that's much nicer to look at. And we can do the same this side as well for now. We may end up changing that design later on. Let's drop a torch in there though. Oops. Yeah, I didn't build out there because they're going to probably have a, uh, a thingy there. A, a big beam of some kind. There. And you know what? Do I have one of them on me? I do not have one on me. Let's go grab one. It's just a spruce. A uh, lot of spruce. Uh, block. Yeah, a log. There we go. Drop that there. That there, and it has to be dug out here as well. On my way. There we go. All right, so that comes up there. Gives us an idea where basins are going to be anyway. That goes there. That means you can then come over here and do your windows against that. There. That was nicer. Well, this side, where's the, where are we going to do the one over here? Is it going to be actually on that wall? It will actually be... Technically it should be here. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about that one. That's where we evaluate that one. But I like this area. This is some benches up here to do crafting with, you know, the little the sawmills and stuff like that and the stone cutter wheels. We need those up here in this area where all the crafting materials will be here, you see. And this will get knocked out and widened that way and sideways for the additional um, storage requirements we will have. Because I want to have each box have one type of material if possible. I am aware some will be almost always empty, but uh, I'd like to keep them that way. I think the design looks nice that way. All right. Uh, can I have more? I have some more slabs. Good. Put one there, 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 there. Just to fill this in because it looks it looks bad having the gap. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that. It does look bad having that gap. I won't do it here. Uh, oh no, I will actually do it here. You can see from the inside. I'll tell you what to do because you can't see, but you can actually see it. I'm gonna run out long before I run out of these though. I have any more in stock? I do not. And I only need a handful more. But I have the planks for it, so I just need to go back and get them. We do need to put a support pillar in there, though there's no two ways about it. Um, it'll be there. To line up with the uh, that one and the one on the far side, that's where the support pillar will be. Oop, I have the support pillar on me. Um, yes. Let's drop you there, run in here, crafting bench, aha, make some slabs, I'm proud of myself for no reason by the way, more slabs, drop those slabs in there, and then in here continue this, perfect. Uh, only downside to that being perfect. Hmm. 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 I mean, it's the right place for it. That's the problem. Uh, another option would be to bring it back this way. Three spaces, and no, it wouldn't really go. I think we'd have to push this out a bit more. And bit the door here, maybe. that would work for me, though. This one, do we need this one? Do we need that? That one going over here. I think we can miss this one out actually. If it could be the inner part of the room, it could be we could build a, a an arched roof to miss this one out, to make the bedroom a little bit bigger. That'd work. All right, well we'll leave that for now. 
have to deal with you in a moment. Let's just widen this out so we don't forget. So it's going to have to go out by two more. One, two, So you come up here, do, 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 into the door here. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. Why are you there? I don't know why you're even there. There we go. All right, that will that will work for the bedroom point. We need to get that up and running sooner rather than later, though. Uh, storage area is now done, though. It's a nice small storage area to get started with. I might remove some of that wall though, because I would like to see out of there without any problems. But when we're in here, we are now in co in, in coast, encased in a protective barrier. Um, there's nothing can spawn in this area to kill us. Um, and over this way, we are safe because they can't even get up that little jump there because I checked them. I come up here, and we get to this point where it's also safe. He says without checking the area. It's also safe up here. Obviously, they can still snipe me through the uh, hill here, though. But it's a start, right? And we have that back of the building. Looking okay. I need to do some styling here. Maybe some torch on the outside of the building itself. Maybe some lanterns. Ooh, lanterns would be nice. Yeah, and what's the recipe for lanterns? A lantern is iron nuggets followed by a torch. You know we have a load of iron nuggets. We could probably make those relatively easily. For lighting this uh, outside of the house up, because it would look nice with lanterns around the outside, lighting the ground up, wouldn't it? I also want lanterns on the inside. I don't want torches on the inside unless they're on a spot beam. On a spot beam, that makes perfect sense to use torches. But I'd like it inside here to have like a lantern on the roof. If it's inside the building, I'm not sure whether I want torches or lanterns on the inside of the building. I'm sure we'll figure that one out at some point. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> I think we're good to say this is the episode. What do you think about my storage area and my construction and this newer floor? If you have any suggestions about uh, what to do, especially about the walling, because the walling right now is going to be up the upstairs and the perimeter. It's going to be pretty much just that going around the outside. I'm going to put some trims on it and stuff, but that's going to be that on the outside. Ooh. Am I out of them? I am out of them. Damn it. Well then, I'll have to deal with that later. But there we go. What do you think of the building design and everything else going on here? Uh, but until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!